Hi, Glenna Cleek here with Encore Ministries of First United Methodist Church in Benton. Several years ago, our son was called to serve in Iraq during the height of the conflict. I was fearful as any mother would be if her son is called to war. And during the next few months and weeks before he left, I told a lot of people that he was going and asked them to pray for him. The comments that I got were varied. There would be people who would say, we shouldn't even be over there in the first place. And then there would be people who seemed to feel obligated to let me know how many people had died over there this week. And one person even said, you know, a lot of those guys come back with PTSD. You know, these negative comments sure didn't make me feel any better about him going. And then one day, I saw a friend and I told her, and she said, you know, he has been well trained as a Marine and as a police officer. So just trust that he's going to know how to take good care of himself in the best way possible. That did make me feel better, and I appreciated her encouragement. And then one day, I saw another dear friend and I said, told her that he was going, and she said, Oh, Glenna, aren't you glad that we are a people of hope? You know, the hope that she was talking about was not wishful thinking, but the kind of hope that knows a loving God who gives strength and comfort and peace. I hope that I can be an encouragement and give hope to others who need it, just as my two friends did for me. There's a, a great quote by a man named George Brinken, and I don't know anything about him except that he was a preacher, and his quote is this about hope. Other men see a hopeless end, but a Christian sees an endless hope. The word hope appears over 150 times in the Bible. And uh, this is one verse that I found that I particularly liked. It's Romans 15, 13. May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace in faith so that you overflow with hope in the power of the Holy Spirit. Not too long ago, I was at a sale and I found this book and the name of it was Here's Hope. So I bought it just because that was the title, Here's Hope. I didn't even open it. And then sometime later I opened the book to just see what was inside, what it was like, and this is what the titles of each section were. Matthew, Mark, Luke, John, Acts, Romans, all the way to Revelation. Yes, it was a New Testament. And I thought, how appropriate. The New Testament is all about Jesus. And Jesus is the hope of the world. He is the reason for our hope. During these last few months of trying times, we have um, heard the hope, word hope a lot. I hope this pandemic ends soon. I hope we can stop wearing these masks soon. I hope we get to start school. I hope that they find a vaccine soon. I hope we'll get to have football season. And in the meantime, remember this verse from Psalm 37, 30, I'm 30, 39, 7. And it says, So now, Lord, what should I be waiting for? My hope is set on you. <laughs>